I don't know if you have a medical malpractice case based on the facts okay. that you just described. You might, okay. I'm conceding I don't know. That's not okay. uncommon when I vet a new medical malpractice case that I right. don't know. We're typically okay. going off instinct that something just sounds totally out of whack, right? Or we're going on past experience where we, over the course of time and handling so many cases, learn some basic medical concepts. The fact pattern that you just described is not something I've dealt with before. And so typically what we would do is engage with a doctor who practices in the same field as the doctor who treated you or your, here your wife. And we ask that doctor, hey, what do you think about this fact pattern? We typically do that with medical records from the course right. of care, some diagnostic imaging, whatever might be available. Now that experience of engaging with the doctor costs money. So we have to pay money just to get the doctor's opinion. That is one of many reasons why we are really skeptical about medical malpractice cases. We handle a lot of them, but we have really high thresholds as to what types of cases we handle because there's a very expensive barrier to entry.